Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. Today I wanted to showcase two items in the new Celebration catalog, the Amazing You stamp set which has a couple of gorgeous images as well as some amazing fonts. I really love the fonts featured in this stamp set and then there's also some coordinating thinlets, the Celebrate You thinlets that you can also get um, in the Celebration catalog. So this is the first time we've offered thinlets. I'm really excited about that. So if you turn in your Celebration catalog to page 16 and 17, you can see these two items. So here is the Amazing You stamp set and there are some beautiful samples here using the stamp set. And then here you can see the Celebrate You thinlets. So you've got the word Celebrate Amazing and then the word You. So the stamp set is available for free when you place a $50 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. You can choose that as your free gift. And then you can get the um, Celebrate You thinlets with a $100 purchase. You can choose that as your free gift or you can place a hundred and fifty dollar order get them both at the same time and then also earn hostess rewards for your order so a couple of different ways that you can get these products but they coordinate so nicely together I just love them and the great thing about these dies is they're actually going to carry over into our 2018-19 annual catalog so you'll get to use them for a really good while so that's really exciting as well so I created a couple of samples to share with you featuring the Amazing You stamp set. So here's the first card. This looks very similar to the sample in the Celebration catalog. I just didn't put the um, this image right here. I didn't stamp it down there and I changed the washi tape and also the colors. So here I've got Pool Party, um, Island Indigo, and Old Olive, and then Rich Razzleberry. I really love how these colors came together. And then, of course, I had to make a matching envelope to go along with this card. I really love this card. Very simple card to create. And I'll have all of the measurements for this project on today's coordinating blog post, and I've linked to that post just below the video in the description notes. And then here's another card that I've created here. This card features um, powder pink, Calypso Coral and Old Olive. I love how this card turned out and I also used some of the Shimmer Ribbon which is also a celebration item. When you place a $50 order this comes in a combo pack so there's actually three different colors. I think Bermuda Bay and um, Basic Gray I believe and they're three different sizes as well. And then of course I have my matching envelope. So there's just a couple of samples featuring that stamp set. So I thought for the video, we would create a card together and we would combine the thinlets with the stamp set. Okay, so I've got my pieces for the card that we're gonna make together. I've got them ready here and I'll have all of the measurements on today's blog post as I mentioned earlier. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of stamping here on the this uh, piece of Whisper White. You can see I've stamped that flower image but I stamped it in three different colors. I did Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist, and Pool Party here. So I'm gonna stamp that image one more time and we're gonna do a little bit of masking to stamp that. So what I've done to create my mask, and I've just stored it inside of my stamp case, is I stamped that flower image onto some of our grid paper, and then I just hand cut the image out, and I used some two-way glue. We don't sell our two-way glue anymore. It's actually retired. But I used the two-way glue to give it a repositionable um, adhesive on the back. But you can also use our Tombow liquid glue and do the same thing, so just Put some glue on the back, let it dry, and then you'll have a removable adhesive after you do that. So I'm just gonna take these little masks because I wanna layer another flower on top of the ones that I've already stamped, but I don't wanna stamp on top of what's already here. So I'm just gonna put my masks over top what I've stamped so that I could get a third flower in this little cluster here. So now I'm going to ink up my stamp using my Stampin' Write markers. So I've got Mella Mambo, Pool Party, and Lemon Lime Twist. So to ink this up, I'm going to use the thick brush tip end, and I'm just going to rub it on sideways, just like that, and give some good coverage on my image. OK, 
Okay, I think that's good. Now I'll just come in with that lemon lime twist, get my little leaf here. Okay, and then with my pool party, I'll get these little side flowers. Okay, that should be good. And now before I stamp this down, I'm just gonna re-moisten the ink. Just give a little breath to it. And then I think I'll stamp it down right about here. And I'm just gonna press and hold that. Okay, there we go. So I've got that stamped down. So now I'm just gonna come in with my paper piercer here and lift up my little masks. There we go. And then you've got this beautiful layered image. Isn't that so cool? This is really my first serious attempt at masking and I love how it turned out. Such a cool technique. All right, so now I've got my basic black archival ink here and then this little teeny tiny strip of pool party and I'm going to stamp the R Simply sentiment onto this little strip and hopefully I can do it straight because this is a very tiny strip of paper. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, and let's see. Oh, perfect. So now I've got a piece of basic black cardstock and some of our adhesive sheets here. So these adhesive sheets actually come in a package of 12. So you get 12 full sheets in here. So what I did is I just took my basic black cardstock, I laid it down and cut off only what I needed so that I don't waste any of it. And we're gonna use this um, to die cut that amazing. It's a very thin and delicate die. So I wanna be sure that I've got adhesive on there really well. So I thought this would be good to use this and I've actually never used these before. So we're gonna see. So you peel off this little piece and then you want to put your cardstock on top of the sticky side. So just like that, give it a press. All right, so I've got my magnetic platform here. I've got one cutting plate. So I'm just going to lay down my stamped flowers. Put my U where I want it. Let's see. I think I want that U right about there. Then I'll put down my basic black and my amazing right there and then pop another cutting plate on top and I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot. All right, so I ran both of these through the Big Shot. So I'm just gonna take my U here. And look at that, you've got this little U left that you could use on another project. And I do wanna pop out the little circle in the center because we're gonna actually add that onto the finished card. So you wanna keep that piece, we're gonna need that. So let me set that to the side. And then let's just take out our amazing, this is a very delicate die cut. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that font, absolutely gorgeous. So you just wanna pop out those little middle pieces in those A's, pop those out, there we go. So that's ready and then we've got our backing on there so we can peel that off when we're ready to adhere this down. All right, so I've got my Lemon Lime Twist card base here and I'm gonna take some of that Pick a Pattern washi tape and I wanna put a little strip of this on my card front. So let me see, I'm gonna use my grid mat to make sure that I get this on straight. So let's see, line this up.
right about there looks good just give that a press see if that's straight okay I think that looks good so I'll just take my snips and trim off that little bit of overhang all right so I just added some dimensionals onto the back of this layer and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this onto the front of the card. Let's see, right about here. Then I'm just going to bring in my mini dimensionals. And I'm gonna add one of these onto the back of the center of my O. Take the backing off. And we'll just put this in the center of that O. Let's see. Right about there cute all right so I just trimmed down this little piece here just cut a little off of the side and I added some tear and tape to the back just going to remove that little backing and I will add this on let's see I guess right about there looks good just add that on okay and then we'll take our amazing and just take this backing off. Let's see. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. And just gently peel that off. You don't wanna tear your word. Okay, there we go. So that adhesive is on the back. And we'll just add this on Oh, I guess right about here should be good. Now I'm just gonna take some uh, solid white baker's twine here and wrap this around the front. I wanna tie a little bow using this baker's twine. So I'm just gonna pull this into the corner, line it up next to my washi tape and tie it in a bow. And just pull these ends, get my bow how I want it. All right, and there we go. That finishes up this card. And I went ahead and just added three of our white perfect accents just as a little added embellishment. I love this card. So, so pretty. Absolutely love it. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a matching envelope. So I went ahead and stamped that flower in Melon Mambo and then added a little um, designer paper to the envelope flap. So let me just bring in our other two samples here. Just put this one right there. And then we've also got this one. I love these projects. Love, love, love them. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? I would love to know out of these three, which one is your favorite? The Lemon Lime Twist, the Pool Party, or the powder pink leave me a comment below the video let me know which one of these projects is your favorite all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed taking a closer look at the amazing you stamp set as well as the celebrate you thinlets in the celebration catalog again both of these are available for free in my online stampin up store you cannot purchase these but with a 50 dollars order you can get the amazing you stamp set for free and with a hundred dollar order you can get the thinlets for free or like i said place a 150 dollar order get them both for free and earn hostess rewards so remember you can find all of the products that I used for these three samples as well as all of the measurements over on today's coordinating blog post. I've linked to that post just below the video in the description notes so check it out. So thanks again for joining me today you guys. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.